example was the very of uh, diode transistor logic and uh, transistor transistor logic so here uh, by using the semiconductor devices we are going to obtain the outputs of the logic gates okay so this uh, dtl and this ttl is going to function as a nand gates okay so normally we know uh, transistor is a type of semiconductor device and transistor is having three terminals emitter base and collector okay it can be classified into the bjt and fet okay so bipolar junction transistor is a current control device and that uh, field effect transistor is a voltage control device okay so now here we are taking bipolar junction transistor okay here we are implementing the dtl concept with the diode and the transistor okay the normal function of a diode is a it allows the current to pass through one direction okay then transistor it is having three terminals emitter base and collector okay now consider this circuit here we are having diodes da and db and the points a and b where we are going to provide the input okay now here we are having the transistors t1 okay r1 r2 are the resistors to obtain the voltage drop and vcc is a power supply okay and here we are having two grounds okay now we can see how this circuit is going to perform the function of an and gates okay first we are having uh, four conditions so for ab we are going to give four conditions 0 0 0 1 10 and 1 1 first we have to see about a and b we are going to give the inputs as 0 and 0 so whenever we are providing 0 and 0 this two diodes diode a and diode b it becomes forward bias okay first you should understand the term of biasing so biasing means the process of adding impurities to the intrinsic semiconductor we have to make some electronic supply to the semiconductor device to make them work so that concept is known as biasing so the biasing can be classified into forward bias and reverse bias okay forward bias and reverse bias first what do you mean by forward bias forward bias means whenever we are connecting a positive terminal with the holes and a negative terminal with the electrons means that we call it as forward bias so reverse bias means we are connecting a negative terminal with the holes and a positive terminal with the electrons okay so what happen in forward bias automatically there will be a repulsion okay and in reverse bias we are having the attraction because whenever the opposite poles are connected means it attract with each other so that comes under this reverse biasing okay now let us see about this working of this dtl so whenever we are applying a and b equal to 0 0 means these two diodes that becomes forward bias so whenever it becomes forward bias means this voltage will go to the ground through this resistor and this diode okay and having the output as 1 okay so that is the concept whenever we are applying 0 0 means both the diodes that become forward bias and it permitting this vcc will go to the ground through these resistors and these diodes and we are obtaining the output as 1 okay and this voltage at r1 that is not capable of switching this t1 okay so it is in the cut off mode so we are getting the output as 1 okay the same operation is happen for both this 0 1 and 1 0 okay at both these condition this output is 1 and 1 okay again it becomes forward bias then this vcc will go to ground through these terminals okay then the final condition is a and b that is equal to 1 then the final one okay when a and b that is equal to 1 means these two diodes that becomes reverse bias condition it becomes a reverse bias condition and this vcc power supply is available at this terminal of resistor r1 okay whenever the voltage is applied at this r1 means it automatically switch on this transistor t1 okay so that the vcc will enter the ground okay whenever this turns into a turn on it becomes the output as zero okay so this is similar to that of nand gate operation okay so this is how the dtl will works now comes to the second type transistor transistor logic so here we are using two transistors so one we can obtain as q1 and another one is 
q2 so this logic also going to perform the same function of this nand gate okay so we are going to apply the inputs here and get the output here in this terminal okay so uh, this uh, q1 transistor and the q2 transistor you have to identify this is the emitter based junction okay and this is the collector based junction first we should uh, give a and b equal to 1 so whenever we apply this a and b equal to 1 means we get the transistor this one q1 as off condition and the q2 as on condition okay so how it will works so the emitter based junction of this transistor that becomes reverse bias okay so whenever it becomes reverse bias this q1 turns off okay it q1 turns off and this collector based junction becomes forward bias that makes the q2 on okay so that is the condition that the emitter based junction of this transistor that becomes reverse bias and making the transistor q1 in off condition okay and this collector based junction they make it into forward bias and make this q2 to switch on so whenever it becomes switch on means it receives this vcc through this resistors okay then it makes the vcc to pass across through q2 to ground okay so this q2 turns off okay so whenever it turns off the output becomes zero okay the output becomes zero now the remaining conditions remaining three conditions whenever both inputs are zero and either one of the inputs are zero means so for conditions zero 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 and zero one and one zero we are having the same condition so at that condition this q1 turns off and q2 that turns off condition okay so this becomes on and this becomes off for all these three remaining conditions okay so now the emitter based junction this becomes forward bias okay and this collector based junction becomes reverse bias so whenever it becomes a forward bias this q1 transistor becomes on and this collector based junction of this q1 transistor that becomes in a reverse bias condition so whenever reverse bias is applying means this b of this q2 that can be receiving supply from vcc and it turn off that transistor so we are getting the output as 1 so for all these condition we are getting the output as 1 okay so this function is similar to that of nand gate so whenever we are applying these three condition this q1 that becomes on and the q2 becomes off okay so this is the procedure of transistor transistor logic thank you for watching the video